All right, so I'm going to be showing a demo of Viva Amplify and really what the first starting question that I get a lot from a lot of customers is how do I access Viva Amplify, especially if you have licenses already and want to make sure that you use those licenses. Well, Viva Amplify is available under the waffle. So if you go into exploring your apps, you can find Viva Amplify, it takes a couple of clicks. Uh, you have to go into the all apps and then you can go directly into using Viva Amplify from there. Or I love to be able to show customers, hey, this is available in just a little bit of a different way. If you want to append onto a URL, this underscore dot layouts, uh, this backslash Viva backslash 15 backslash Viva dash Amplify dot ASPX. That will take you directly into the Viva Amplify product from any SharePoint site as well. Uh, so right now I am in the Viva Amplify product. You can see I've got a nice get started tab that's got a lot of different resources for me to be able to get started with writing campaigns, managing those campaigns, authoring those campaigns. Uh, but for right now, I'm going to get started on creating a new campaign. This is pulling information from me, myself, uh, using my OneDrive. So I don't have any campaigns that are directly tied to me yet because I haven't created any or nobody has invited me into creating that campaign. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with creating a campaign. Now, if you need some campaign ideas, there is some great campaign starters in our campaign catalog that is out on adoption.microsoft.com that you can look for in terms of getting started with those campaigns. Lots of great information that's out there. Uh, for the purposes of this one, I know Microsoft just had their give campaign. So I'm going to replicate uh, something of, of around a give campaign that seems to be a great time of year to be able to volunteer, give to uh, charitable organizations and being able to record your time for that um, or being able to record that dollar value value that you have done for gifting. Uh, so I'm going to do a gift campaign and I just want to uh, create it so that I have a description here as well. And then you'll notice that I've got uh, just English language, but I can pull out a number of different um, languages for what I want the UI to be showing. Uh, so how the campaign management will look, uh, the language that I'm using. Uh, I'm just going to use it in English because I'm a native English speaker, but this is the ability to, uh, you know, have that campaign management and creation in any language that you're choosing. And uh, the uh, you can, of course, write the campaign, the publications in any uh, language that you want to, even outside of what language you choose here. Uh, but again, for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm just going to choose English. And then uh, my thumbnail color, uh, this just is a reference for me to be able to go back and get into using that once again. I'm gonna choose the Amplify Purple here. And then I'm going to invite others, people to my campaign as well. I'm going to invite Adele and I'm going to invite Megan. I can change their roles uh, from just an editor to an owner so that they can make any changes to the campaign and the campaign members. Um, I can also change them to approvers if I want just approvers uh, to be able to review that content. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to leave them as editors. This is not setting up who the audience is for, for my uh, publications to go to those particular audiences. It is simply setting up the campaign overall in that management. It is going to create that M365 group right at this time for me to be able to go in and work with that particular campaign. So this will create an M365 group, a corresponding SharePoint instance, as well as a Teams instance for me to be able to run this campaign out of.
Now you'll see I've got a nice overview of the campaign and I can start here by uh, creating, you know, a, a multitude of different types of publications. If I wanted to go directly into the publications, um, I've got a, a blank template. I've got a newsletter template, event template, status update templates that I have as a starting point. Um, but I can also like go and create a campaign brief. This is the ability for everyone on my team to be able to organize around a particular strategy, uh, setting those campaign objectives as well as those messages for this particular campaign. So I'm just going to create some awareness for the giving campaign. And I'm just going to create a key message or two here. Um, and then I might do also a volunteer. Oh, there we go. Uh, these are very simple save. Um, I, it's open text, so I can create a number of different items in that area and then just save that uh, as I want to go forward. Next up, we're going to take a look at the publication. So in this area is where I would create those messages to be able to add to those audiences on several different channels. So I'm going to go ahead and start by creating the uh, publication for this. And for those of you that have worked with SharePoint, this should look very, very familiar to you. It is essentially a SharePoint news post, and then it goes through a, a transform process in order to make it into an Outlook email or a Teams message or that SharePoint news post. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, browse for images. I'm just going to choose a couple of stock images for this. Um, so I like to start out with, a, you know, just a, a simple gift. Um, so I'm going to choose this image to create that gift. I can choose some different layouts in terms of like how I want the color blocks to look um, until I pick one. Um, and then we are going to create it based on uh, our annual giving campaign kicks off today. All right, and I'm going to post it on my behalf as the systems administrator and then uh, create some text around that. And you can see I'm just typing here. I can also search for different images if I'd like. So if I wanted another picture of a gift or a present, I can certainly add that in um, and some additional text in here. I can reformat it for different styles and presentation. And one of my favorite web parts um, is to be able to use the people web part to say thank you and be able to put those people in there um, along with their cards. I can adjust their cards if I'd like to. Okay, uh, and so you'll notice I've got a number of different web parts here as well. I can use text, I can use images, I can use different links. Uh, the file and media web part is uh, specifically to put stream video in, so we can have video right in line. Uh, and then I can create these uh, people web parts as well and be able to use that um, throughout my my layouts and such. I can create different sections, um, various shading. The shading for SharePoint will take whatever is being used in the SharePoint site that you're posting it to. So you don't necessarily need to worry about, you know, color and, um, you know, what, what color is going to match my current layout or my current theme in my SharePoint sites uh, because it's automatically going to take whatever theme is already being used. Okay, so when I click next, I can see this is going to uh, make these pages appear a little bit different in these different channels. So first up is Outlook. 
and it will give me kind of a nice layout of what that looks like in Outlook. I can make adjustments here. Uh, so for, you know, for any of those areas that I, hey, you know, maybe there's too much space here. Okay, I want to, you know, reduce this space down. Maybe I don't like this particular picture that's here. I can change out my pictures. Uh, maybe I forgot to, you know, um, lay this out a little bit different. You can do all those types of things in while you're in here without affecting some of those other channels as well. And then say I wanted to send this out to everyone in the company. So I might choose kind of my all company or my all employees um, to be able to send that out. I can also send it myself a test message so that I can send that just to myself if I wanted to, um, and I can also choose if I have delegation permission set up or if I happen to be a member of a shared mailbox, such as, you know, those corporate comms mailboxes sometimes, um, or, you know, sales and marketing has a shared mailbox. And so it, whatever I want to send that out, I can send that out in Outlook. It's going to post uh, by on my behalf my personal profile information um, at, you know, that shows up in SharePoint and in Teams. But for Outlook, we have the delegation and those shared mailboxes available to us. So we can uh, use that um, in terms of getting that ready to go for everyone to be able to send out. Um, in SharePoint, I've got, you know, this already layered and formatted correctly um, should look very, very similar to what we built. And then I can add up to 10 SharePoint sites. So I'm going to go ahead and, and add the living or the landing, I'm sorry. And then I can add additional SharePoint sites as well. So I want this also to go to the leadership team uh, site so that we they know that it's been posted and ready to be kicked off. Um, and then I can include different sites as well if I want to. Teams is going to look a little bit different because Teams actually uh, removes that first picture. It is going to look a little bit different. You can still have those pictures in a Teams message. It's just that the Teams message can't include the picture at that top of the post or the top of the announcement. But I can uh, switch if I want it to be uh, an announcement versus a post. And then I can choose who can reply if it's only moderators or if I want everyone to be able to reply to that. And I have up to five channels here. So I can choose um, different channels in terms of who I want to pick for uh, this particular channel, the message to be posted to that particular channel. I can also post a test message here as well if I wanted to do that. And then everything, once I have it all set up and ready to go, I've got a couple of different options in terms of my publishing. I can choose to publish everything right now and it goes out to all of those different channels. I can choose to schedule that publication and it gives me a nice publication summary. And I can choose to schedule that in a future date in my time for my choosing. All right, so it goes off of where I am coming from in terms of my time zone and where I want to be able to post that um, in terms of my time zone. Um, and so then I can also request approval so I can go through this publication summary. You'll remember I didn't add any particular approvers to this message, but I can go back and add approvers and then we can you know, require those responses those responses for those approvers come from a team's approvals application. So they they aren't necessarily uh, you know, going into all of the places that you would find working with this campaign. They have access to the, the campaign publication to be able to review that content and then either approve or deny that content appropriately or suggest changes as they would need to. Um, I could have multiple approvers. You can do, uh, you know, hey, I want to be able to post this after um, automatically after it's been approved, or I can choose to 
have it come back to me as the author to be able to manually approve that or manually post that or manually then schedule that um, information. So a lot of different options in terms of that approval request as well. For the purposes of this, I'm just going to uh, publish this right now. It gives me that nice publication summary. And then once it starts working on that publication, it gives me those publication details. So it shows that it's sending to Outlook. It, it shows shows that it's sending to those SharePoint sites. It shows that it's sending to that team's channel. I know when I first started doing this particular process, uh, there was multiple channels that I had to post messages to, as well as a SharePoint site, as well as a uh, team or an Outlook message that I had going out to many of our private preview customers that was for about 450 customers, um, 450 people that were on that. And by doing this with Amplify, it definitely saved me a whole great deal of time. Uh, typically, it would take me about two hours to do some of these recaps, whereas it took me about you know 20 minutes to half an hour using Viva Amplify to get all of the information to all of these channels. So once this is uh, ready to uh, show as posting, it's going to be here in just a moment. Uh, I can then go in and I can look at who this was sent to. I can look at where it was posted. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, let's take a look at it in the landing. So this is where it is in my intranet. I can go in and I can look at the post. I can make a like on this, so give it a thumbs up. I can make comments on this. And I can even go back to the top page of our intranet and I can see I've got you know a message that's already showing up in that company feed area um, in the landing that I just posted to that particular area. So all of this is working uh, great. I wanted to go back and do a quick refresh. You can now see that the publications uh, that I had posted are already there. I can go in and be able to look at that um, in my reporting area now. So this will give me an overview of where it is across those unique viewers and also be able to see it drill into that actual campaign and be able to see where it was, um, what I had in terms of those positive reactions, uh, those promotions. Uh, I can see it from a distribution channel, being able to organize different things for those different audiences um, and by having Viva Insights as well. Um, and so I can see all of this is all ready to go within my publication and be able to uh, you know, go back and, and look at all of those reporting functions. Mm -hmm.